like a ghetto was trying to fight me. I got stuck in BF me with a bunch of black people accusing me that I was gonna steal their and now you're arresting me. This is wild. What are you doing? I literally hang out with you and your friends. Like what the? Stupid! I have no idea anymore. How you doing, young man? Oh, not too bad. What's going on? This little girl, man, I came down here, man, and went up in the woods, ran up in the woods, and she said she don't even know how it is now. She said, I don't even know how I got it. Right. She's broken and ran up in the woods, and she's going to help me or not? Mom, Mr. Kaiser with the Sanford, please. I'm stuck in my car, and I would like to get out. Can you please let me out? How'd you get Please, stuck, how'd you get stuck like that? I guess I'm trying to turn around. <laughs> how'd you end up over there in the first place? Trying to turn around. I literally swear to God don't know any of these people. Where are you trying to go? Home. Like, this is not anywhere that I need to be, I swear to God. Okay, Sir, how, did you, how did you end up here in the first place? Turning around. Coming from nine, downtown North, North Stern, Tamford. I'm it's honestly, so I'm say I'm just very serious. I feel like I'm about to get fucking beat up. <laughs> I have a brand new car. I'm just trying to get home. 26320. Can I check the county for a 38, please? Preferably a female. Two six. Can you check with county for a female deputy 38, please? All right. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah. I'm good. You're good. <laughs> you can take all of my stuff. I just need your ID. Yeah. Hit it. <laughs> I literally turned around and I tried to turn around and they were like, oh hell no. <laughs> I think I saw you out tonight tonight. I literally don't care what you do to me. I just felt like those girls were about to be like fucking rob me. Well, <laughs> so but I, again, I don't how did, care. How, how, <laughs> so were you using a GPS to get work back home, or what were you doing? So <laughs> I was using my GPS, right. but it took me like wild, and so I ended up on this road, and I went to turn around, and then they stopped me, and I was like, hmm. um, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with those women. They were just raised differently than me, and. Stop. 2612 on Why Broadway. are you looking at me like that? Honestly, it's probably a bad time to tell you this. Yep. Those cops were just being assholes to me because I was white. Who? Those cops. They were literally, I was like, girl, I did not mean to get stuck here. I was just Devil. trying to turn around. Okay. One baby daddy and no children except for one. I am a good girl. All right. Do, is your car turned off? You can turn it off. You want me to? I mean, is, is it turned off? You can turn it off. <laughs> a key or push to start? A key? Is it a key or a push it's to start? A key. What's your last name? Am I allowed to ask that? What is it? Sorry. Like the roll. Did you date a girl named Sarah? No. Hey, let's uh, let's walk back here to my car. That way, we're not back here with all these bugs. So you're not in a, so you're not out in this humid. You're not gonna be putting handcuffs or anything. Just have a seat in the back of my car. Kind of keep you safe out here, right? I'll be right, I'll be right back. So did you, did you? Did you witness the car going to the woods? No, my granddaughter did. Granddaughter's did? She was sitting in this car here when she came up and when she went in the woods. Okay. And, um, she, she was out there. She was talking out of her head. Then she said, I don't even know how I got here. She, she's a little something. Okay. Hello. Hi. Got a couple questions for you guys. All right. So what did you guys see happen? Oh, I was literally just about to leave. Uh -huh. And she comes zooming in. She stops like right here. Uh -huh. 
and then she gets out of the car asking for or somebody named Gomez. And I was like, no, nobody lives here. Like, like nobody by that name. Okay. And she gets out the car and then she zooms in. When she gets back in the car, she zooms in that way. Okay. And she slams her brakes. And there's a lot of trees and all that stuff back there. Okay. So she's trying to get out, Jesus begging me to awesome. help her. And I'm like, I'm, you're not going anywhere. Like, you need to leave. Like, you can't go anywhere. on the female 38. So, and then she's just, like, telling me about she came from downtown D-Land and Osteen and stuff like that. And I'm like, do you even remember coming here? So... So she stopped like right here yeah, or like right behind my car. Right behind your car. Yeah. You observed her get out of the driver's seat and everything else like that. Yeah. Alright. Yep. I'm behind you. I'm a human. This isn't cool. Can I sit outside with you? Give me just a second until I get another officer here. Say a word like this is ridiculous. Well, right now, mm -hmm. you, right you now, have a real penis or a fake one? Like, let's just let me sit with you. A fake one. Cool. All right, Taylor, go ahead and step out for me. I was not a crazy person. All right. Is my purse in there? No, your purse is still in your car. Thank you. All right, so right now, based on my observations of you, okay? You did not see me in a vehicle. No, you're right, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so would you be willing to conduct field sobriety exercises just to dispel, my, just, just to dispel my, my alarm that you have, you're not too impaired to be operating a motor vehicle safely? But why would I be operating a motor vehicle? You didn't catch me doing that. I was watching. Okay. <laughs> Would you be willing to provide, uh, submit to field sobriety exercises to dispel my alarm that you're not too impaired to operate a motor vehicle safely? No. Okay. So, I'll run, go ahead, I, turn around. You're going to arrest me right now? Turn I around. can arrest. Like, I'm not drunk. Turn around. You just said you would not be willing to submit to field sobriety exercises. Well, I mean, you can test me. Like, I literally haven't been doing anything. <laughs> okay, I asked you twice. I didn't know what that meant. Field you know sobriety exercises. I don't know that. Would you be I said field sobriety exercises to dispel my alarm that you're not too impaired to operate a motor vehicle safely. Okay, I do not know what you meant, and I would like to try that now. I, Sir, I'm just trying to go home. You know how I'm would just you get, trying how, to go home. How would you get home from here? I am trying to drive from this stop sign forward and you can take my All right, so you'd be willing to so you be willing to perform a series of exercises to dispel my alarm. I think you're being ridiculous, but yeah, I would. All right, stop moving. I did not tell you to move, did I? I love you guys. All right. I support you guys. So what ridiculous. we're going to do is we're going to go over to those double yellow lines. All right. And I'm going to give you a series of instructions. I want to do whatever you want me to do. All right. So here's what I want you to do. You're going to stand with your back facing this patrol vehicle. All right. Your back facing the patrol vehicle. Turn around. With your back facing the patrol vehicle. All right. So. We're gonna use this, we're gonna use this left line here. Can you see this left line right here on the ground that I'm pointing my flashlight at? Yep. Okay. So, to your knowledge, it's a straight yellow line minus the cracks in the road. I just need to follow that line. Just follow this left, this left line that I have my line, uh, light on. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. So, from, what I want you to do is I want you to place your left foot on the solid yellow line for me. Place your right foot next to your left foot with your with your feet together with your left foot and your feet together okay now do you feel comfortable um, 
seeing that you're wearing sandals or whatever women call these nowadays, do you feel comfortable performing those exercises in your footwear? Okay. So, for the first exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check your eyes. All right? All right. So, with your feet together and your hands down at your side, do you wear contacts or glasses at all? All right. So, can you see the tip of my finger clearly? Mm -hmm. If I do that, can you see it even more clearly? Yes. Okay. With your eyes and your eyes only, I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Do you understand those instructions? I'm trying to understand those instructions. <laughs> do you understand the instructions? With your eyes and your eyes only, I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes. Do mm -hmm. not move your head. Do you understand those instructions? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Again, I'm going to repeat the instructions. With your eyes and your eyes only, I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes. Mm -hmm. You understand those instructions? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. This next exercise is going to be called the walk and turn exercise. All right. So, what you're going to do. For your starting position while I give these instructions, okay? You're gonna place your left foot on the line. You're gonna place your right foot directly in front of your left foot with your heel of your right foot touching the toe of your left foot. Do you understand those instructions? All right, go ahead and move into the same position I am. All right, do you feel comfortable with those footwear? If, if, if you, if you need to, if you, if you need to take those off, you can take those off. I feel comfortable now. Okay. So, for the purpose of actually, I want you to remain in that position while I give you the instructions. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So, for the, from the, my demonstration, I'm going to be walking that way just for officer mm -hmm. safety. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, we're going to start from the position with your left foot on the line, your right foot directly in front of your left foot. Okay. All right? Are you still in that position? Yeah. You're still... Okay. Again, while I'm giving my demonstration, I want you to remain in that position. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to walk forward nine t steps, counting out loud. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> One, two, I'm tired. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When you get to nine, you're going to do a series of steps to turn around. But you could barely do that sober. Am I supposed to do that? All right. I'm wearing a lot more gear than you are. So we're not playing. We're not being funny. Okay. Once you get back to your starting position, all right. Are we gonna date after this? When we get back to the starting position, you're gonna take nine steps back. Okay. All right. Yeah. Counting out loud. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and then you're going to turn right back around, and that's when the exercise ends, all right? You understand those instructions? Yep. Are you sure? I might not be able to do it, but I understand it. Okay. When you're ready, go ahead and get in the starting, starting position with your left foot on the yellow line. If you have to look down, place your right foot in front of you, directly in front of your left foot, the heel touching the toe. All right. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Probably could have home greatly, but okay. home. So we're gonna go back over here to the starting position. All right. You all have friends that are me. <laughs> For this last exercise, okay, it's called the one leg stand. I love you guys. You guys are all my friends. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> all right. For this next exercise, it's going to be the one leg stand. Okay. Again, you indicated to me earlier that you didn't have any, you haven't had any foot, knee, leg problems or anything, surgeries. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct? Yep. All right. So, for the purpose of, for this exercise, you could use either either foot, your right foot or your left foot, mm -hmm. all right? 
for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to raise my right foot, keeping my left foot on the ground. All right. What you're going to do is with your hands at your down at your side, you're going to stick your foot out approximately six inches off the ground. All right. Keep it a, looking directly at your toe. You're going to count out loud: 1,001. 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, and so on until I tell you to stop. Once you stop, once I tell you to stop, you can put your foot back down, you can, you can relax. Right? Do you understand those instructions? I understand. Okay. Go ahead and. This um, one? Let me. When, whichever, one you, whichever one you feel comfortable with raising. No, whichever one you feel comfortable, that's all right. So you're going to raise your right foot? Is that what I'm assuming? Mm -hmm. You are going to raise your right foot? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> you may begin. All right. You go ahead and stop. Sorry. All right. So. Go ahead and step forward a little bit, that way you're, you don't, uh, I'm not saying you're going to, but that way you don't damage the Stephanie's part. Alright, so for this last exercise, what I want you to do. Guys, I'm such a good girl. This is ridiculous. No worries. <laughs> um, Alright. So for this last exercise. Just, just stay right there. Just stay in front of me. What I want you to do. Stand with your feet together. All right, you're gonna put your arms out to your side. All right, you're gonna look directly up at the sky. All right, you can look back at me, so you can see, so you can see what I'm gonna tell you to do. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna look straight at you, but during the exercise, you're gonna be looking up at, straight up in the air. Mm -hmm. All right. So with your arms out to your side, I'm gonna give you a command of right or left. If I say right, you're gonna bring the tip. Your, the tip of your index finger to the tip of your nose mm -hmm. and then bring it back out to the side. If I say left, you're going to do the same thing. Bring your left index finger, touch the tip of your nose, and then bring it back out to the side. You understand those instructions? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Look up to the sky. <laughs> right. My right. You're right, yep. <laughs> Do you understand the instructions I gave you? Yes, sir. All right. Look straight up. Look straight up. Right. Your right or my right? Your right. <laughs> Not my right. Your right. Okay. All right. Look straight up at the sky. Do you need me to repeat those instructions for you? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. So do me a favor, remain in the, just keep looking up at the sky for me. Look can straight sit, up. Can I sit in car, sir? What's that? Can I sit in your car? Give me just a second, okay? Keep that position until I tell you to until I tell you to stop. Look straight up to the sky. All right, you're being placed under arrest for the suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol. All right, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Kennedy, will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present now or any time during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, you want to be appointed to you by the courts at no cost. Do you understand those? Do you understand your rights so far? Yes, sir. Okay. If at any time during questioning you wish to speak to a lawyer, all questioning will cease. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. With those rights in mind, do you wish to answer any of my questions? What's that? I don't remember any that you have. Because I haven't asked any yet. Would you be willing to answer questions? Sure. All right. Without a lawyer present, correct? Um, you understand okay. your standard. You understand your rights. I understand my rights. I am unsure of questions that I want to answer. Okay. If at any time during me asking you questions, you wish to speak to a lawyer, all questions will cease. Do you understand that? I will let you know. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna walk back over here to my car. That way, we're okay. not out in the middle of the road. Are you from around here? No. No? No. Are you married? No. 
Is this a good time to hit on you? <laughs> Probably not. Okay, well, I'm not a bad girl. This is a terrible situation. <laughs> okay. So here's what I want you to do. Yeah. I just want you to place. I just want to place. I want you to place your back right here up against my, uh, right up against my car while while we while we talk. Okay. Okay. All right. Just. Uh, however you feel comfortable. All right. Am I supposed to open it? No. No. Just place your back up against the car so I get. I just wanted this out of the roadway. All right. So. Where were you coming from tonight? I was at Celery City in okay. downtown Deland. Okay. And I was going to, that's where my dad lives. Okay. That's where I was going on. Okay. Is that where you live? Yeah. Okay. So, did you go between Celery City and our contact now? Did, did we have, did, did you stop anywhere else? No. Okay. No. So, at, I don't, did I you, honestly did you don't know where we are right now. <laughs> did you consume any alcoholic beverages tonight? I have had a alcoholic beverage tonight, yes. Okay, what did you drink? I had one tequila pineapple. One tequila pineapple? Mm -hmm. Where My was that? My boyfriend cheated on me today, so. Okay, so, <laughs> where did you, you had the tequila pineapple at Celery City? Mm hmm All right. Is that what, like a normal, normal shot glass? Yep, just a single with pineapple juice. Okay. All right. Do you feel that the amount of alcohol, the, the tequila pineapple shot that you take, took, impaired your ability to operate a motor vehicle safely? I don't think so. You don't I have, think so? I have a two-year-old daughter okay. and I love her very much and I don't think that I am in anywhere impaired to get home to her. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, hold on to that. I feel like you disagree. Alright, stay right there for me for a moment. Alright, would you be willing would you be willing to provide a sample of your uh, breath to determine your alcohol level? I mean, what do you guys think? That's your decision. It's I'm I'm asking you. No, thank you. No. All right. No, just so you know. No, it's not. Just so you know, if you refuse to give a sample of your blood, blood, breath, or urine. All right. You guys, like, the, why are you doing listen, this to me right now? I literally just got caught in a bad Taylor, neighborhood, Taylor, and you're doing this to me. Taylor, can I finish what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead, finish. All right. What am I? What am I gonna t attest myself to doing? Being a trunk right. to being addressed? Or should you I'm being drunk to you catching me being addressed? Okay. Stop should you? And listen to him. Should you refuse to take either of those tests? The damn the I Department of Highway and Safety Motor listen Vehicles there. will suspend your driving privileges for up to 12 months. Or for a period of 18 months, if it was if you've ever previously been arrested and refused to submit a sample of your blood, breath, or urine. I've never done that because I'm a really good girl, okay. and this is bullshit. So with <clears throat> with that in mind, now that I've given, I've read you what what's called the implied consent law. All right. No, you tell me. <laughs> Are you still refusing to provide a, a sample of your blood, breath, or urine? I don't know. <laughs> It's your decision. I can't. I can't. I can't force you to say yes. I can't force you. What would you, you tell me your daughter to do? Like this is bullshit. I'm out here with you right now, Taylor. Listen, and all of your friends are my friends. Like this is bullshit. Okay. So right now you're gonna be you're be placed on you're being placed under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol. So tell me what to do. Okay. So right now, with this deputy, this deputy is gonna search you to make sure you don't have anything on you. All right. Okay. Face the vehicle. No, here at my here at my scene, I need someone to stand by for a tow. Taylor, do you want me to get your purse out of your car? Taylor, go ahead and sit inside my car. Need a bag? Okay. Do you want me to get your purse out of your car? It doesn't matter. Alright. Taylor, are you getting air back there? Barely. Barely? I'm living. I 
I guess I expect it. That won't hurt. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> you a bitch ass <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, I'll take the I will take the L. You're a bitch. Anybody who is listening, wanna be saying that you know who's the Hey, sir, listen, I'm I'm really not trying to be can you open the door? Yeah. Oh, that's rude. But um can you open my door and get my purse? Can you just make sure my purse I would like to understand. I'm sorry, I didn't understand if that was the question though. Thank you. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, it's the purse. It's in my purse. Yeah. Thank you. Do you know Navarra's? Louis? No, it's just my roommate. This sounds like you guys, but I don't know. This is great food. Do you guys normally do this? Like, knock off like normal people because they're in a crowd of black I don't think it's that. I don't know. You should, you should look this up. That's what's happening. Oh. <laughs> That's how. Why? Listen, guys, I, I sent out with y'all on my weekend. Why are you doing this? Like, that was under my purse. That was 1,000% under my purse. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, roll it up, bitches, because you're being ridiculous. You get third decking for all good. Yeah, put it back in the car under the seat where it was. Bullshit. I would just like to understand what I did. Because, like, I understand, you know. I have a baby. Literally, we would just hang out with my friends. And I brought the wrong number. Like, do you feel terrible that you're doing that to somebody who literally just went down the wrong road? Where am I gone? I have no idea if it was first to Oh, did you go to Pine Ridge? Yep. I went to Pine Ridge too, like, when you were in Gerard 2003. Great. How old are you? 37. See, you're a lot older than me. I don't know if that's fine. Who are you married to? If you don't mind asking. I'm sorry. I know I seem like an asshole in my doctor. I'm really going to say that. What? So I feel like I'm an asshole in my back, just acting drunk, but I'm really not. Just asking me a question. <laughs> I gotta turn. I gotta turn the heat on so I can defog my windows. Okay. No, so might get a little warm. Yeah. I'll roll down the back windows in the meantime. Thank you. So, just out of curiosity, what do you think happened here today? I uh, don't uh, I believe your impaired to the point where you're unable to operate a motor vehicle safely. You understand that three minutes away I put a pool, right? Sir, so is there like some weird like where you can be like, oh I gotcha and like you can drop me off because this is insane. No. Like I swear to you I've never done anything wrong in my life. Like, like, I could have done wrong things, and I haven't. Like, okay, what the fuck? Like, you're cute. Pick me up after. Like, I don't know what you want me to say to you. This is insane. Like, I'm such a good girl. I have a, a daughter. Like, a life. And I got stuck in the buckets. Like, those girls were so mean to me. They were like, we're gonna fuck you up. And I was like, Okay, cool. Just let me get my car out. Like I wasn't trying to start problems. Like nothing. Like this like I don't understand. It. Like I have a daughter. It's insane. Like, literally, did not do anything wrong. Sir, please. Like I don't understand. Driving home. Like, you're that sick, like insecure about people driving home drunk. Driving home. Like I don't understand. 
Like, like there's people bringing me children. Like, what are they? I'm not even kidding. My best friend's husband is a cop. You know what? I get it. But this is bullshit. Because I'm a good person. This is bullshit. So, literally, the girl that you're seeing has never drove home, like, kind of tipsy. Ever. Never. She's never done that. You're just taking me home for a with a whole ass kid and a whole ass, like, be covered back. Honestly, Ryan tells me about girls that, like, do this. And he's like, oh my god, they're so funny. And I'm just like, oh my god, Robert, what a dang I am. Like, you're really being a dick though. Like, I'm not a bad person, but I'm really not. Like, this is awful. <laughs> I got stuck in BF fuck me with a bunch of black people accusing me that I was gonna steal their shit and now you're arresting me. This is wild. Wow. But at least my wife is around. Thank you. Thank you for that. You understand if you draw me off the jail, like, I'm fucked. Like, I'm arrested. That's it. Like, I'm done. You get that, right? You understand, like, I'm a mom, I'm in school to be a teacher, like, I'm a good person. I got caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. What are you doing? I literally hang out with you and your friends. Like, what the fuck? It's stupid. I have no idea anymore. Literally, just let me go home. Drop me off. I'm set through. I don't care. Just let me go home. It's stupid. I used to live on here. Can you talk? Please. It's really making me all comes again. And if you don't talk to me, I'm going to talk to all of my friends about how you're so mean. And they're going to be like, wow, you was mean. And I'm like, yeah. Why did you do this to me? I am upholding the law and not being mean. I'm not arguing like, I was really in a bad place in a long time. And here I am. What are you doing? And it was far with a bad call. And then there's nothing to think about, but that was. Uh-huh. Now I'm not going to this for the rest of my life. And for what? Because I got caught around where a ghetto, like a ghetto bitch was trying to fight me. But I'm like, okay, I was just gonna turn around. Like, I swear to God, I'm gonna start to get home. Please, yeah, yes, sir, I have a water. I swear to God. Please, if there's anything you can do, like, I swear to God, I have, I'm a good girl. Sir, if there's anything you can do. I promise you, you will not regret it. There's a thing you need to do in this case. I swear, 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 I'm not a bad person. Look at my life. A couple of speeding tickets, like, I'm not a bad person. I know bad people, like, I'm a bad person. Please get me out of here. Please, 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 sir. Please. Like, I know bad people. That's not me. Can you just tell me you're not going to do anything? What do you say? What? You're not going to do anything. I can't hear you. You are not going to be able to do anything at this point, are we? Because you're not going to be able to do anything for the next few hours. I got turned around in a bad spot. I'm not a bad girl. I grew up in a scene. I'm a big girl. I hang out with all of your friends. I'm walking to get you on the kids. Please, 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 please. Don't hear this to me. Please. Please. So, if you do this, I'm going to get you back out of this. I swear. Please. I'm not a bad person. I'm not. So, please. There's nothing I can do. Like, help me out? Okay. Like, I, I'm a good girl. Like, I have a daughter. Like, a two-year-old daughter. Like, 
I went out because my boyfriend fucking cheated on me, and here I am. Well, at the end of the day, you broke all the information. And it's bullshit, but I'll quiet for this whole time. You're an absolute. But I was ready to go off in there for it, so like, bullshit. Those black girls were literally about to be my fucking ass. And I thought I was saved because you guys were there, and then I ended up arrested. Cool. Like, how about you talk to me first instead of bringing me fucking here where you can't do anything other than arrest me? Now, this is the rest of my life. You understand? I have a fucking DUI and I have a kid. Like, ha- like, do you, are you okay? Do you feel okay about that? Like, dude. <laughs> bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Sleep well. Like, that's... I am so black and blue until bullshit like this. What the heck? Do you talk to me. Ask me why I'm in the woods. You never did that. Come on, back me out of this and help me. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. Literally, some stupid ass punk kid that I was hanging out with with my friends was like, hey, let's come here. She wanted to hang out with her. She's not in the car with me. I'm hanging out there, and then I'm in the woods, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying to back up, I'm trying to back up. This black ghetto girl, the one I'm sure you dealt with, was like, don't even 